To test how hard a mineral is, scientists use a scratch test, which literally means they scratch something, and if it leaves a permanent mark or a dent in the surface, they know that that is not very hard, or they can compare it to other minerals. I'm gonna show you how to do that with a piece of chalk and a black ceramic tile. Obviously the chalk can leave a mark on the tile, but I can easily brush it off again, and it doesn't leave any permanent mark in the tile. When I use the tile on the chalk, however, and scratch, I can brush off that powder, but it actually leaves a line. There is a dent, I can feel it with my fingertip. There's a dent there in the surface of the chalk. That tells me that the tile is harder than the chalk. We can use some other tools to help figure out how hard a mineral is. Let's take a look at these four minerals that we'll be testing today. Remember, one of the properties scientists use is color, but that doesn't help very much in identifying these since three out of the four of them are the same color. So we're gonna use a scratch test. We are trying to identify which of these is quartz. Quartz is the most common mineral found on Earth, and out of the four minerals I have here, it's also the hardest. So it is the one that will not get damaged as easily as the others do when we scratch it. To start off, scientists use a really cool tool they always have with them. It's called a fingernail. They will actually scratch the minerals with their fingernails. There are some minerals that are so soft, a fingernail will actually leave a dent or a permanent mark in it. Then, if that doesn't work, they will move to this cool tool a penny. They'll scratch the surface with a penny and see if that damages it. There are a few other minerals that will not be scratched by a fingernail, but will be scratched permanently by a penny. Then they move on to some other tools, such as a small steel screwdriver or knife or something. So we'll use this little screwdriver and we're going to test each one to see if it leaves a mark. So starting with this first one, if I Scratch in it. I don't know if you can see that. It definitely left a line that does not brush away. That's actually damaged. Then we'll try this next one. Hmm. That doesn't seem to leave any sort of permanent mark. Now we'll try this one. You see the lines I'm creating, and when I try to brush it away, it's not just powder. That left a nice little L shape right there, scratched in the surface. And this last one, this is a pretty green one. When I brush it away, those scratches are still there. So using the steel tool, only one of these minerals did not get um, permanently scratched by my screwdriver. Therefore, we can say that this one is the hardest mineral. And I told you at the beginning that the quartz would be the hardest mineral. For your information, those are the names of those minerals. Calcite, there's the quartz that was not easily scratched. Gypsum and fluorite. Gypsum is one of the softest minerals there is, and you can actually scratch this one and leave marks with just a fingernail. That can leave a permanent mark.